everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to change your buttons in any game when you're playing on your Steam Deck. And this is actually a lot easier than it seems. So I'm playing Rocket League right now. I can press the Steam button at any point in time. And then you can see controller settings right here. I just select this. Then here's the button layout. So you can see the back buttons aren't really mapped to anything. The L2 and the R2 buttons aren't either. So I can go down to controller settings now, and there's uh, default layouts at the top. So we can go to this, and we can go to like a different community layout, or we can search for a different layout for the game. And these will have different button layouts for you. So uh, maybe you can find a layout that has the back paddles enabled or something like that. So Rocket League isn't the best game just because there's already controller support. So I'm going to go back to the home screen and go to something that doesn't have controller support like BattleBit. And then before you start the game, you can just go to controller over here and then go to view layout and you can view right here. Otherwise you can select it, go to the community layouts. This is probably the best one. So if you just select this and then go to apply layout, you can apply it to your game and you can see what kind of uh, button layouts that you're working with. If you go to view layout, uh, like R4 is the Z key, uh, the joysticks. So you can just remap anything under here. So just select it and then here's the A button. You wanna put the A button to what, the H key or whatever. Just look at the button on the left and then select into this box and you can remap to literally anything you want. Here's the D-pad. Yeah, D-pad, triggers, joysticks. A lot of times you wanna go into the joystick, probably say like joystick mouse go to settings, scroll on down, and you want to change the dead zones. The dead zones are going to be very annoying. You want to lower this to maybe like three or four. So you can go to uh, custom, and then go to circle, and then here's your dead zone. So it's zeroed out right now, you want to put it to like two or three, and that'll ensure that you're getting a very uh, good accuracy. You just move this thumbstick just a little bit, and it's going to represent on the screen as a movement. So a lot of times there's a dead zone built into here where if you move it like this much, well, it's not going to be registered in the game. So you're losing all that aim for just small movements. So if you have a zero dead zone, as soon as you move this, well, that's going to be represented in the game as a movement. So you want to have lower dead zones so you have more accuracy. And you can do that right here. And once you change it, you can go back out. And then we got track pads, gyro. So you can just change anything around. Then we have action set. And then a lot of times you have, well, aiming too in non-controller uh, supported games. So you have two different functions. When you're just running around, hip fire, then well, aiming down sight. So you want to look at this. Some of the keys might be a little bit different. Some of them are the same. And you can just go back into your joysticks, make sure this has the dead zones on it too. So looks like this one is different values from the other one too. So I'll put this back at three, good. So you can change the layout, you can change any button in the layout and it's very easy to do guys. Then you get your joystick uh, sensitivities right here, right stick, left stick, whatever stick you're looking at. And then you can invert it down here as well. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on Your Six Tech.